Zarlex, an advanced alien scout from the Zentar Federation, had always believed that planets without interstellar travel were primitive and unworthy of attention. His mission was to scout the far reaches of the galaxy, searching for potential threats or resources. When his ship suffered a critical failure and he crash-landed on what he thought was an uninhabited planet, Earth, he prepared himself for a tedious wait for rescue. As he emerged from the wreckage of his spacecraft, hidden deep within the Amazon rainforest, Zarlex was struck by the biodiversity of Earth. His initial scans for intelligent life had been disrupted by the dense bioelectromagnetic fields of the planet. He decided to venture out, using his cloaking technology to remain unseen, intending to gather data to expedite his rescue. Zarlex's journey took him from the lush, chaotic life of the rainforest to the edges of human civilization. He observed remote villages from a distance, initially dismissing the human inhabitants as simple and unevolved. But as he ventured closer to urban centers, his perspective began to shift dramatically. The first city Zarlex encountered was teeming with life, technology, and culture far beyond what he had expected. Skyscrapers reached toward the skies, vehicles traversed the ground and air, and screens and devices connected the humans in a vast web of communication and information. This wasn't the hallmark of a primitive species, but a civilization that had achieved a significant level of technological advancement. Curiosity peaked. Zarlex decided to delve deeper into understanding humans. He adopted a human form, using his advanced technology to create a disguise. He chose the identity of Mark, a traveler, allowing him to interact with humans without arousing suspicion. As Mark, he traveled to various locations, from bustling metropolitan areas to serene rural settings, observing and learning. He was fascinated by human culture, their art, music, literature, and the sheer diversity of their languages and traditions. He observed their scientific achievements, their quest for knowledge about the universe, and their burgeoning efforts in space exploration. The more Zarlex learned, the more he realized that Earth was not a planet to be underestimated. Despite their advancements, Zarlex noticed the human struggles with environmental degradation, social disparities, and the looming threat of self-annihilation through warfare or ecological collapse. Yet he also saw hope, resilience, and a relentless drive to overcome these challenges. The turning point for Zarlex came when he witnessed an extraordinary act of human kindness. In a small town, he observed a community coming together to rescue a family trapped in a burning building. The selflessness, courage, and unity displayed by the humans in the face of danger deeply moved him. It was a stark contrast to the often cold, calculated interactions of his own species. Zarlex realized that Earth was not just a planet of interesting flora and fauna, but a world of intelligent, emotional beings capable of great compassion and bravery. His mission parameters had changed. He was no longer just a scout waiting for rescue. He was an observer, a learner, and in a strange new way, a participant in the human experience. As he sent a covert signal to his people, requesting a delay in his extraction, Zarlex knew that his reports would alter the Federation's view of Earth. But more importantly, his own perceptions had been transformed. Earth was not a backwater planet, but a vibrant, dynamic world full of potential and wonder a world he now felt inexplicably connected to and responsible for. Zarlex, now fully immersed in his human persona as Mark, decided to delve deeper into the intricacies of human life. He chose a small, seemingly unremarkable town in the Midwest, a place where he believed he could observe the everyday lives of humans without the overwhelming noise and chaos of the city. Here, in the heart of human simplicity and routine, he hoped to uncover the essence of what it meant to be human. The town, with its quaint houses, local diner, and close-knit community, was a new world for Zarlex. He rented a small apartment and began to live among the humans, mimicking their daily routines. Each morning he would walk through the town, greeting neighbors, observing people going about their day, and slowly becoming a familiar face. He took a job at a local garage, learning the intricacies of human mechanical ingenuity firsthand. Despite his advanced intelligence and technology, Zarlex found himself humbled by human creativity and resilience. He marveled at how humans could take limited resources and create something functional and sometimes even beautiful. He saw this in the way they repaired old cars, repurposed materials, and helped each other in times of need. His perception of humans deepened when he witnessed their interactions. He saw families gathering for meals, friends sharing laughter and sorrow, 
and the community coming together to support a family that had lost their home to a fire. Zarlex was struck by the depth of human emotions, joy, love, grief, and compassion, in ways he had never experienced in his own, more rational and detached society. However, it was during a major crisis that Zarlex's respect for humans transformed into admiration. A severe storm hit the town, bringing devastating floods. The town's infrastructure was overwhelmed, homes were endangered, and lives were at risk. Zarlex watched as the community rallied together. People risked their own safety to help neighbors evacuate, formed human chains to rescue those trapped by rising waters, and opened their homes to those who had lost theirs. Zarlex, with his advanced knowledge and technology, secretly assisted where he could. He stabilized a collapsing bridge long enough for a family to cross safely and discreetly diverted floodwaters to prevent further damage. All the while, he was careful to ensure his actions appeared as fortunate coincidences, maintaining his disguise. In the aftermath of the storm as the town rebuilt, Zarlex witnessed the resilience of the human spirit. People shared resources, comforted each other, and worked tirelessly to restore their community. There was no task too small or insignificant. Everyone contributed in their own way. It was in these moments of adversity that Zarlex saw the true strength of humans, their ability to face seemingly insurmountable challenges with determination and unity was inspiring. He realized that humans possessed a profound capacity for cooperation and empathy, traits that were undervalued on his own planet. As Zarlex continued to live among the humans, his mission shifted. He was no longer just an observer. He had become a participant in the human experience, learning from them and in subtle ways, helping them. The town had become more than a research site. It had become a home, and the people he once viewed as primitive had become his neighbors, his friends, and in a way, his teachers. The tranquility of Zarlex's life among humans was shattered when an intergalactic threat loomed over Earth. A notorious marauding species, the Krithorians, had set their sights on the planet. Known for their predatory tactics and little regard for less advanced civilizations, they viewed Earth as an easy target for exploitation. Zarlex, with his advanced sensors, detected their scout ships entering the solar system, a precursor to imminent invasion. Zarlex faced a profound dilemma. His primary directive was non-interference, to observe and report without altering the course of a civilization's natural development. However, having lived among humans and grown to respect and care for them, he found the prospect of standing by while they faced annihilation intolerable. As the Krithorians began their incursion, attacking strategic locations around the globe to cripple resistance, humanity was thrust into chaos. Despite their technological disadvantages, humans responded with remarkable courage. Governments and organizations rallied, deploying their forces to protect their people and planet. However, the Krithorians' advanced technology and ruthless tactics made the human efforts seem futile. In a small covert base, Zarlex made a fateful decision. Utilizing his advanced knowledge, he began to assist Earth's defense forces indirectly. He hacked into satellite networks to provide early warnings of Krithorian attacks, subtly enhanced Earth's communication systems for better coordination, and provided anonymous tips on the enemy's weaknesses. Despite his efforts, the tide of the battle did not turn until Zarlex took a more direct role. During a critical moment when the Krithorians aimed a devastating weapon at a major city, he intervened. Using his ship's stealth technology and advanced weaponry, he managed to disable the enemy's armament, causing it to misfire harmlessly into the ocean. This act of intervention did not go unnoticed by the Krithorians, who began to suspect an unseen adversary. Meanwhile, in the town where Zarlex had made his home, the community was banding together to protect themselves from the fallout of the conflict. The garage where Zarlex worked became a makeshift workshop for repairing and retrofitting vehicles for evacuation and supply transport. The townspeople, inspired by the global resistance, organized themselves to provide aid to one another, embodying the resilience and solidarity Zarlex had come to admire. Zarlex, now deeply conflicted about his role and the potential consequences of his actions, realized that the fate of humanity and his own were inextricably linked. He could no longer be a mere observer. His destiny and his heart were now tied to the planet he had come to call home. In a clandestine meeting with world leaders facilitated through anonymous communication channels he established, Zarlex revealed his existence and offered his full support. 
He provided strategic insights into the Krithorians' tactics, vulnerabilities, and technology, equipping humanity with the knowledge they needed to stand a chance against their invaders. The human response was one of unity and determination. Armed with Zarlex's information, Earth's forces began to adapt and evolve their strategies. They launched a coordinated global counteroffensive, utilizing guerrilla tactics, exploiting the Krithorians' overconfidence, and targeting their key vulnerabilities. Zarlex watched, both as a participant and a guardian, as humans fought bravely for their planet, their freedom, and their future. The conflict's tide began to turn, with humans demonstrating a tenacity and ingenuity that surprised their alien adversaries. Zarlex, once an observer from a distant world, found himself at the heart of a battle for a planet he had grown to love, fighting alongside a species he had come to admire. The outcome of this interstellar conflict was uncertain, but one thing was clear. Humanity would not go quietly into the night. The tide of the intergalactic conflict began to shift, not just in the battlefields in space but on the ground, where the hearts and minds of humans were united against a common foe. Zarlex, having thrown his lot in with humanity, now worked tirelessly from the shadows, coordinating with Earth's leaders to strategize and counter the Krithorian threat. In a secure, undisclosed location, a meeting was convened between Zarlex and a select group of Earth's most influential leaders and military strategists. Through a secure holographic interface, Zarlex revealed his true identity, expecting distrust and hostility. Instead, he was met with a mix of astonishment, curiosity, and surprisingly, gratitude. The humans recognized the critical advantage his insider knowledge provided and were eager to learn and collaborate. Together, they forged a plan that leveraged human ingenuity and Zarlex's advanced technology. The strategy was audacious. They would strike at the heart of the Krithorian fleet, using a combination of stealth, deception, and precision attacks to disrupt their command structure and sow chaos. As part of the plan, Zarlex provided human engineers with insights into Krithorian technology, enabling them to devise countermeasures and weapons tailored to exploit their weaknesses. He also trained elite human squads in advanced combat tactics, preparing them for the mission that would decide Earth's fate. The operation was set in motion with a series of coordinated strikes across the globe, designed to draw the Krithorians' attention and disperse their forces. Meanwhile, a select team, including Zarlex, embarked on a perilous journey aboard a specially modified spacecraft, aiming to infiltrate the Krithorian mothership. The mission was fraught with danger, as the team navigated through enemy defenses, employing advanced cloaking and jamming devices to remain undetected. As they boarded the massive ship, they encountered fierce resistance, but the human soldiers trained by Zarlex fought with unparalleled bravery and skill. Inside the mothership, the team executed their plan with precision, planting a series of devices designed to disable the Krithorians' weapons and communication systems. As chaos erupted within the ship, Zarlex and the team made their way to the command center, where they faced the Krithorian commander in a tense and decisive confrontation. Back on Earth, the effect of their mission was immediate and transformative. With their command structure in disarray and their technological advantages neutralized, the Krithorians were forced into a retreat. Humanity's coordinated resistance, bolstered by Zarlex's assistance, turned the tide, driving the invaders from Earth's skies. In the aftermath of the conflict, the world was forever changed. Humanity was now aware of its place in a broader galactic community, and the threat of the Krithorians had united the planet in a way never before seen. Zarlex, once an observer from afar, had become a symbol of this newfound unity, a bridge between Earth and the stars. The alliance forged in the heat of battle was just the beginning. Earth's leaders and Zarlex worked together to establish a new era of cooperation, sharing knowledge and technology to ensure the planet's defense and prosperity. Humanity had not only survived, it had emerged stronger, with a new sense of purpose and a place on the galactic stage. With the Krithorian threat neutralized and a newfound alliance between Earth and Zarlex's people, humanity embarked on a path of rapid advancement and unity. The planet, once divided by borders and disputes, now recognized the value of collaboration in the face of external threats. Zarlex, serving as an intermediary, facilitated an unprecedented exchange of knowledge and technology between Earth and the interstellar community. In the wake of the conflict, Earth's governments formed a Global Defense and Exploration Coalition, GDEC, 
aimed at preparing humanity for future challenges and opportunities in space. Zarlex was appointed as an advisor, bringing his extensive knowledge of galactic affairs and technology to the table. One of the first initiatives was the establishment of a joint Earth-Alien Research Facility, where scientists from various disciplines and civilizations could work together. Here, Human ingenuity combined with alien technology led to breakthroughs in energy, medicine, and environmental conservation, propelling Earth into a new era of prosperity and innovation. However, the turning point came when the GDEC unveiled the Nexus Project, a plan to construct a space station that would serve as a hub for interstellar travel and diplomacy. The station, designed with a blend of human and alien technology, would orbit Earth, symbolizing the planet's entrance into the galactic community. Zarlex played a pivotal role in the Nexus project, offering designs and technologies that made the ambitious vision a reality. The construction of the station was a testament to the power of unity, as species from various parts of the galaxy contributed to its creation. As the station neared completion, Earth hosted a galactic summit, inviting representatives from numerous star systems to witness the inauguration of the Nexus station. The event marked Earth's official acceptance as a member of the Interstellar Alliance, a moment of immense pride and significance for humanity. During the summit, Zarlex, who had once viewed Earth with skepticism, delivered a speech that resonated across the galaxy. He spoke of humanity's resilience, creativity, and spirit, acknowledging that his time on Earth had changed him, teaching him the value of empathy and the strength found in diversity. The summit concluded with the signing of the Nexus Accord, a treaty of cooperation, peace, and mutual exploration among the galaxy's civilizations. Earth, once an isolated planet on the edge of the galaxy, was now at the heart of a grand alliance, ready to explore the stars and face the future as an equal among the stars. The transformation was not just technological, but cultural and philosophical. Humans embraced their role as galactic citizens, eager to learn from their new neighbors and share their own insights and culture. The arts, sciences, and philosophies of Earth found new audiences across the stars, while alien cultures enriched human society in ways once unimaginable. Zarlex, reflecting on his journey, marveled at the change. Earth had not only altered its destiny, but had also transformed him. He had come to the planet as a scout, detached and objective, but left as a member of its extended family, forever intertwined with its fate. In the years that followed, the Nexus Station became a beacon of cooperation, a place where beings from across the galaxy came together to share knowledge, resolve disputes, and forge a shared future. Earth, with its diverse cultures and vibrant life, became a symbol of hope and unity in the vast cosmos. As Earth solidified its place in the galactic community, the impact of its integration reverberated across its societies and cultures. The Nexus Station, orbiting high above Earth, became a symbol of unity and progress attracting thinkers, innovators, and diplomats from countless worlds. Humanity, once confined to the cradle of their home planet, now stepped boldly into the cosmos, engaging in exchanges that enriched both Earth and its interstellar neighbors. Zarlex, who had become a respected figure on Earth and beyond, watched as Earthlings navigated their new role with enthusiasm and integrity. He saw them not only absorbing knowledge and technology from their new allies, but also contributing their own unique perspectives and innovations. Earth's art, music, and literature spread throughout the stars, touching the hearts and minds of diverse species and fostering a deeper understanding and appreciation of the human experience. The transformation of Earth's environment was equally profound, with access to advanced technologies and the collective wisdom of the galactic community, humans rapidly reversed the damage inflicted upon their planet. They restored ecosystems, stabilized the climate, and transitioned to sustainable energy sources, ensuring that Earth would remain a vibrant and nurturing home for all its inhabitants. Meanwhile, the spirit of exploration that had long defined humanity found new expression in the stars. Under the auspices of the GDEC, humans embarked on missions of discovery and exploration, visiting distant worlds, engaging in scientific research, and participating in cultural exchanges. These endeavors not only expanded humanity's knowledge and horizons, but also cemented their reputation as valuable and respected members of the galactic community. The establishment of the Intergalactic Cultural Exchange Program, an initiative spearheaded by Earth and supported by Zarlex, became a cornerstone of this new era. 
The program facilitated visits and exchanges between individuals from different worlds, promoting understanding, friendship, and collaboration. Through this program, humans and aliens alike experienced the diverse cultures and perspectives that populated the cosmos, fostering a sense of unity and shared destiny. Zarlex, reflecting on the journey from isolation to integration, marveled at the resilience and potential of humanity. He had witnessed their transition from a divided species, fraught with conflicts and crises, to a united people, eager to contribute to the tapestry of galactic civilization. His own journey, from observer to ally to friend, mirrored this transformation, and he found a profound sense of fulfillment in his role as a bridge between worlds. As the years passed, Earth's influence continued to grow. Human delegates played key roles in galactic councils, contributing to peacekeeping, environmental conservation, and interspecies cooperation. The values and principles that had guided humanity's ascent, diversity, empathy, and collaboration, became hallmarks of the broader galactic culture, shaping policies and initiatives across star systems.